Hey, welcome back to another episode of John's Crypto Therapy. Today, we're going to look at price action. We're going to see exactly what price did. And this is a good time to look at price, especially when we are seeing a lot of consolidation right here. Okay, so we are seeing some wick rejections. We are seeing price respect the top, but also it is doing one more thing. It is respecting the bottom. This is such a great level to be in the market for just because we are going to see a strong breakout very shortly, guys. And this is really going to give us that boost to see if we can break to the upside or even towards the downside. This is on the hourly chart. I did talk to you guys about we did have some patterns of the bull flag. So right here, guys, we did have a bull flag that was going just like this. And we also did have a sideways descending triangle. So as you guys can see, price did break to the downside. But if you guys went to the higher time frame, you would understand this all right here was actually a fake out. And the only trade possibility was actually right here. So I'm going to go to the four hour and show you guys what I'm talking about right here. So once we go to the four hour, as my students would watch this video right here and see, right here we don't have any strong breakouts each candle possessed a wick and this was not showing us a selling bias this was actually showing us indecision but also a strength that price can reverse the upside so as long as you guys did this trade and you understood not to take a downwards trade and you did take a buy to the upside and you went to the lower time frame to execute your trade you would have got into a profitable trade right here the cool thing about this if you did bring it back towards the channel you would have maybe seen this was not a breakout at all this was just price respecting the channel but most of all let me remove this right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about right here so this was a channel right here guys so you guys could see that price was actually respecting the channel was not a breakout and also if we did take the profits from this channel and we extend it you guys can see also where did price go it went towards the top and this was going to be our level in the market where we were looking to sell especially because not of this pattern but there was another pattern showing me why we should sell here i want to get a little bit more advanced today and talk about the alternate bat pattern okay so this is a bearish pattern and i'm going to show you there is bullish but also bearish and the pattern was right here on the hourly and i want to show you guys how i executed this trade and how we got into a beautiful sell and making some great profits guys remember in trading you are going to lose but it's about losing small and executing your losses really short and cutting them off before they go even deep i know a lot of traders that will let their negatives go all the way down their losses and say it's gonna go back it's gonna go back don't have that mindset guys cut your losses short that's the profitable way to do it get into another profitable trade look for your two to ones look for your three to ones and hedge your trades as well so you will make some money in this market so right here we're going to get into our alternate bat pattern it's going to be really quick guys so just watch if you do have to freeze the video make sure to do so so you can write down the numbers and go from there okay so we do have our a point we go all the way towards the bottom and this would be my first move right here guys so i'm going to draw it out first so this is going to be my first move and i'm looking for a retracement of this first move and as you guys can see it did land around the 38 percent and that's where we want to see where rejections and right here we do have a strong wick rejection to show us that this is exactly where the price went so because of that i do want to extend this and that is going to be my little move right there now when we're looking at price action we're looking for the retracement of this move now so we do want to get the fib retracements from the bottom all the way towards the top and i want to zoom in so you guys can see yourself so for this case we are looking for price to pull back towards these ratios on the left hand side it goes to 38 50 61 78 and a lot of the other ratios are right here guys price did go down it did wick all the way towards the downside what i like to see my completion level for this move itself is going to be this box right here i do like the 38 and i do like to see it go all the way towards the 88 so anywhere here guys if the wick completed over here if it completed over here if it completed over here that is totally fine as long as it completes inside this box towards the 38 and the 88 we're totally fine and we can still use this as a valid pattern to the upside the reasons why i like this pattern and i kind of knew it was going to go up not because of this pattern where we're trying to make right here guys it's actually because we did have a symmetrical triangle hidden within this pattern giving us confluence that if it does break to the upside we could take a beautiful trade okay so right here guys we are going to draw our symmetrical triangle and right there as you guys can see this is your symmetrical triangle hidden within the alternate bat pattern we're going to be drawing out right here so once we see in this pattern right here we did have a break right here guys we did some wick rejections this would have been a beautiful buy so the markets do give you some great signs to buy but of course when the markets are going sideways it is going to be a little bit tricky that's where you need to know all your patterns okay your patterns will absolutely give you some confluence on where to go for price action okay so we were looking for the price of a reverse 
so we're looking for a price to go down right so we have seen a beautiful move right here and we said to ourselves hey is this a strong move to the upside we were seeing price did go down here we got into a beautiful trade but now we were up here and we were saying to ourselves is this a key level where we can see wick rejections or price to reverse and of course it is especially with the alternate bat pattern we're going to be talking about once again i just want to go real quick to show you guys so the first thing we like to look for is the 38 we do have that that's confirmed great so now we're good to go now we do need to look for this retracement and the retracement here we want to see a spot of 38 to 88 within there the completion zone which it did it did not cross the 88 so it gives us confirmation that this is a valid entry for this pattern the other thing that we needed to look for was the extension to see where this could have landed and the cool thing about this guys i'm going to go here to the trend base fib extensions we're going to go to the bottom all the way towards the top come back all the way to the bottom these are our fibonacci levels once again and the completion level is going to be right here exactly at the 1.13 1.13 level and if you guys see this where did it target it actually targeted towards our zone that we said to ourselves hey why did this price go down where what was the reason for this so i'm going to give you two validations on why this trade was a beautiful trade okay guys so this would have been the extension and that's the trade right there the reasons why this trade was first of all valid and really good is first of all we did have this beautiful flag formation the flag was showing us that this was a bullish sign we seen a breakout and where do we do for our take profits we kind of use the channel as our take profits and when it broke out guys where did it break out towards it went exactly towards our level to indicate this was going to be a reversal now we also see the bat pattern as well we put it in towards the chart and we said hey look it did touch the 1.13 which was a reversal sign now for the bat pattern we were looking for profits and we said to ourselves hey if profits are going to go down and we are in this flag where is our flag take profits and our zones for the flag so for those that did enter a valid trade to the flags you would have looked for your entry summary here your stop loss would have been underneath the bottom of the flag and you would have looked for your two to one but of course you would have looked for your extension of the flagpole as well so you would have done something like this to find your take profits for the flag which would have been somewhere here this was a valid entry because it was a 1.87 to 1 okay so this was still a good trade it was not a two to one but it was still a great trade to have so those that did get into those trades you would have taken your first take profits looking left of structure you can see there was a level in the market where it was telling us a reverse of what happened so a bat pattern did give us this confirmation to sell and i want to show you guys the cool thing about bat patterns in general when we do have this bat pattern we do want to go right here and you could call it a cipher guys it is a cipher pattern i'm just saying alternated bat pattern just because this pattern and the ratios of the fibonacci retracements is a bat okay so there's gartley patterns there's a lot of different patterns that we could be talking about in this channel and to enhance your trading overall so now we're going to be putting it in and we're going to go from the top all the way to the bottom to there to the bottom and towards the top so for this what i like to do is we like to look for our trades we want to see 38 we want to see 50 and we want to see 61.8 so once we do this we want to get into our fib retracements we want to go from a all the way towards d d is going to be the top zone right here once we do that we look for our profits our profits could be the 38 it could be the 50 here let me actually put this ray instead so it's going to be the 38 it's going to be the 50 and also it could be the 61.8 these are my levels in the market what i'm using for reversals so when you see price action for d where did price fall actually it fell towards our level 38 which was our first take profit it's going to be another level 50 second take profit and third and final take profit it's going to be the 61.8 so these are patterns within these patterns giving us confluence on where the nature of the trend is going to go so this was just a quick update guys i do want to show you where price action is going now just to give you a little demonstration of the strength of trading patterns it's really cool guys right here we do have this beautiful head and shoulders i still want to take this trade once it does break towards the upside i do consider this all as fake outs so in order for me to take a great buy i do want to see 0 0.00165 broken and once that is broken please make sure to take full profits or at least your first take profits at this key level the reasons why we're seeing this key level this is such a demand zone and if you're not taking profits here you are going to get wicked out we do want to see a breakout but we want to see a breakout of this level once again guys 0 0.00165 needs to be broken before we take a short buy to the upside if prices does not break to the upside we are going to see some more wick rejections and price can go down this 
price action of the head and shoulders is a bullish pattern draw it in have it in and once this is broken look for your buys and this is going to be a strong move to the upside the other thing that i want to be talking about is going to be even though we had a flag even though we had demonstrated all these patterns we do have another pattern it's still showing us prices going sideways and it's making some indecision moves right we are seeing moves towards the middle the apex and it does look like it's not making any higher highs so right now we are seeing another formation of a symmetrical triangle guys this symmetrical triangle is a beautiful triangle we're going to see some isolation right here this is on the hourly chart so if price once again does not break towards the upside we are going to see a move back down and this is going to be another opportunity for us to buy if price does break this we want to see a breakout of course we want to see a retest then we want to look for our selling opportunity so i'm going to show you exactly what i'm going to be doing if i'm going to be looking for sales get into a sell right here i'm going to be showing you what i'm going to be doing if i get into a sell once i put my sell stop loss above structure guys and we're gonna do our two to one so once again when we go two to one not just that we do want to do the extension of this pattern as well so when the breakout occurs wherever it breaks out if that's where it's going guess what we're gonna take full profits right there okay guys and finally the truth is if you really want it to be a little bit more patient you can actually enter the trade once the swing low is broken if not you do want to be careful because we could see some reversals at this key point if you are cautious with your trading and you want to be more secure, wait for the break of this zone, then a retest, then get into your trade and then move your stop loss a little bit lower and still get a good risk reward trade and start to settle in right here. The reasons why we want to see the bottoms of these broken or at least one or two, at least going to the upside or to the downside is to give us confirmation it is still going to go downwards and it's not going to make another sideways pattern. We do want to be careful. Ecomi is very volatile right now and it's super fun if you are learning how to trade. So right now we do have this symmetrical triangle. I am waiting for a break right here. So let's just play the cautious game. Let's play the safe game. So once again, my safe game would be wait for the structure above to be broken. Look for your 0.0016 if you are trading the symmetrical triangle. And if you're looking for a sell, 0.0015 below. This is a beautiful trade. And if it does break to the upside, this is going to be super volatile. I do love looking at this pattern this is a head and shoulders and we do have a beautiful head and shoulders do i think it did break out yet not really these are still wick rejections indecisions i do believe this is all in a pocket of zone not going to use that as a real breakout this is a fake out for now if prices do break this zone we're going to get a huge move the real test of time and the real bullish sign is going to be this level right here this is where i'm all in and we're going to see 0 0.00169 be the stronghold for all the buyers to come back in all right, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. If you do like this, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. I try to show a lot of patterns, not just one direction. Reasons why I know a lot of people in my channel, they're very diverse when it comes to their education with trading, not just price action, but patterns and also harmonic patterns as well, guys. There is a lot of information in this channel. I try to give as much as I can because I love you guys and I want to make sure everyone in this community wins. If you guys do like this and you want to be a part of my next year's program, please make sure to email me. My course is going to be exclusive. I am changing a lot of lives and I am going to bring a lot of my students onto my live just to show you guys their experience and what they're doing and how they're feeling about this trading program. And also, this is not financial advice. This is just for education. This is what I do for my students and this is how we learn together. And if you guys do like the quality of knowledge please make sure to smash the like button and we will talk soon take it easy and john out peace